the new Gundam's not for show. It's for playing with. Um, this is my review of the 1 slash 60, 60 scale 12 inch deluxe mobile suit in action action figure of the new Gundam. As you can see, this guy's pretty big. I consider him him and the Zazabi. Ooh, Zazabi. I consider them the the most <laughs> the my favorite my prized possessions, I guess, in my um Gundam collection. I haven't seen a lot of reviews of these guys. I have seen some on eBay, but they're usually missing pieces or broken. I got this guy and his counterpart at uh, Chinatown for about $40 each. Then they showed up in BJ's Wholesale Club for about 30 These that I'm reviewing, they're the Jap these are the um, Japanese versions. They were made... There's no stamp. No stamp. I think they were made around 2001. I think. Wait, let me see. Bandai 2001. Right here. The back of the leg. Let's go to the articulation. As I was showing, the head can move up and down and a little bit side to side. The thing is that the part where the head's mounted isn't a circle, it's an oval, so it doesn't go all the way. The arms have ratcheted joints. The shoulder armor can go up and down. There's a, a joint at the top of the bicep and he can bend his arm that much. The hand is on a joint like that and can turn around. It's on a ball joint. But it's molded, since it's an action figure, it's molded in one, one shape. The other hand, the other side, has the trigger finger. Waist articulation, just a little bit. Skirt armor, can't go up. The side skirt armor only goes up a little bit. The rear armor does go up some more. And you can remove the backpack. The legs up here can move like this. It can spin all the way around, and they can bend forward just a little bit because of the skirt armor. But they can bend at the knees that much. And uh, there's a thruster here behind the leg. And ankle articulation. And a little bit side to side. No toe joint. One of the things about this figure was that you had to build the weapons for it. I put them back. I turn them around. You build the hyper bazooka, or do you? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't remember what you build. It has a a little clip here to attach to the backpack, and this handle comes down 
for holding. In the front it's empty so you can see the inside and it has some molded in rockets here that don't move or come out. So you see this slot in the back pack in the middle That's where the bazooka goes. There is a beam saber that goes here. See, but I don't know where the beam saber hilt is. There is an additional beam saber here on the arm, though. No, this slides up and down. Let me see. I don't. I don't know if you can remove it. Yeah, you can. But let's just leave it in there. You also get this a beam rifle. This already came up on it, this warning label. You didn't have to apply it or anything. <clears throat> so that goes in his hand. The hand with the trigger finger. You have to force it in there. Uh, get in there. Since the hand's made out of soft plastic, it'll give. Um, you have the humongous um, shield with um. Amaro's um, logo on it and it says Earth Federation Space Force and a little warning sign here at the bottom this is the other part the back part and you get this to attach to the arm and here's some rockets that don't detach you see there's two notches here just apply. And the last and the most fun part of this action figure, you get Fin Funnels 6. These two, um, I think you have to build all of them, but these two with these gaps here are the ones that attach to the back. The way you do that, gonna have to get this shield out of the way. The way you do that, you see this piece that sticks out? Just enter the top part into the top part of the funnel, and then voila! And, um, I know one of these is supposed to be down, but I don't remember which. There's like two that that are long, and then the others compacted. So that's the new Gundam. It's back heavy fin funnels. It's fun. <laughs> Should be called fun funnels. So I'm going to take a look at the, the funnels not mounted on the action figure. So each funnel can be attached all together. They all separate like this. They could be um, elongated or they could do the they could be formed like that. There you see. As you can see there's some tabs here on the funnels that come out so that you could attach them to other to other funnels. There you see, I'm sure I could detach one. 
There you go. So you can... The, the funnels are kind of loose. So don't expect a lot of poses from them. But you can, like, make them long, like I showed before. Or make them like that. Or you could curve them like this. Or curve them like that. I'm almost out of time, so that's going to be it for the, the review of the new Gundam. Like I mentioned before, I have seen some of these figures on, on eBay, so that would be your best bet. Thanks for watching. Mm, 